Why I ditched Google search. I stopped using Google search after I found it overwhelmingly difficult to find what I was looking for. Be it a microphone, game, PC, etc., it seems like Google cannot fulfill the quest for that right answer, and so, I have found myself digging myself down a rabbit hole of search engines, trying all the well-known alternatives, and nothing seems to be just right. It's either too privacy-focused and misses obvious points, or collects too much user data and sells it to third parties. I am especially not happy with the latter of the two, because I understand that privacy means less relevancy, and ultimately, the trade-off may be worth it, depending on what you're looking for, but I've found it increasingly difficult to just use one search engine, so I use multiple, and at times, I still use Google, but DuckDuckGo has mostly taken over as my daily search engine, as I often find what I want on DuckDuckGo making it the best alternative for me to use. In addition to respecting user privacy and not hogging your data, DuckDuckGo offer a browser extension, known as DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials, and more recently, DuckDuckGo announced a premium edition of this tool, which includes a VPN service, coupled with bonus features and more functionality, and it only costs $10 a month, so if you're willing to go premium with DuckDuckGo, this is the way to go. While I love DuckDuckGo, it does not always get what I need, or want, and I really don't want to go to Google if I don't have to. So what's the best search engine that's like Google but does not track or spy on you? Startpage. Startpage is literally a de-googled Google, it does show ads, as does DuckDuckGo, but these ads are not shown based on your profile or browsing history, they are purely based on keywords in your search query, and it respects user privacy. Startpage is not one I use often, but it has provided somewhat decent results for certain queries I have looked up on it, still. It cannot always deliver satisfactory search results, and that's where Kaji blew my mind away. Kaji, Japanese for key, is a search engine founded in 2018, based in California, America. Kaji runs on a subscription-based model, but it claims to protect user data and privacy, and never collect, store, and sell user data, and Kaji offers a true ad-free experience when searching the web, not to mention it can let you know if a site is behind a paywall or not. But the biggest downside is the subscription-based model Kaji goes by, though the free edition allows for up to 100 searches with Kaji, before you decide to settle in on it and start paying for it. Kaji is great, I love the ad-free experience, it really does make the web feel a lot less cluttered, just like it should be. My only concern is the subscription-based model, as I am not willing to pay to search the internet, and quite frankly, who would want to pay hard-earned money just to search the web? If Kaji was free, it would not be ad-free. And Google is technically free, but the cost, our user data, Google mines our data and sells it to numerous third parties, who can or cannot be trusted to handle our data with care, this data may then end up on the dark web, for sale, or possibly even worse. With a search engine like Kaji, you never have to worry about your data potentially being sold to advertisers, and then ending up in an unpleasant place, Kaji has no ads to begin with, so the ads cannot track you in any way shape or form, which prevents them from building a profile on you which then prevents them from generating revenue, but you're only one person, in a world where 8 billion people are running around the planet, so that likely would not hurt their revenue much, it's only when a large percentage of people stop supporting these advertisers that they will start to suffer financially, and advertisements could be less prominent with the sudden increase in popularity of generative artificial intelligence chatbots like ChatGPT, or Google's Gemini, this might make traditional search engines less of a thing in the future, if not, render them completely useless and unnecessary, but what's more likely is that many of the popular search engines will bake artificial intelligence into their services. Although the privacy-focused alternatives may struggle to find the balance between privacy and accuracy, and they may not like the idea of artificial intelligence being used in their products, but if you don't go on this AI bandwagon, you're screwed, 100 times over. It's also worth noting that this explosion of AI has also led to Google being riddled with AI-generated articles, newspapers, images, videos, etc. What was once largely organic is now nothing but synthetic non-organic results, and Google's SEO, search engine optimization, makes matters even worse. It prioritizes junk results and puts them at the top of the page. What's mostly useless information and spammy content gets prioritized, to make you think that this stuff is what really matters, when in reality, the decency lies beneath the thousands upon thousands of pages beneath the stinky shit that Google prioritizes. So finding the right answer is like finding a needle in a haystack, or trying to nail a jelly to a wall, it's just impossible without advanced technology that can detect the needle in a haystack, or hold a jelly to a wall, and with search engines, 
artificial intelligence may be the very tool to get us out of the needle in a haystack situation, though so far, it is faring no better when it comes to searching the web with AI than it is using a traditional search engine, but as AI continues to grow in popularity, and as more draw concerns over Google's business practices, especially with user privacy, one thing is clear, search engines are a thing of the past, and are largely falling obsolete thanks to generative AI, but for the time being, they still remain a crucial part of our lives, to help us find someone, something, whatever you want to find, you will always turn to your trusty companions at Google, Microsoft, or whoever it may be that's getting your search results, but when AI advances to such a point where it becomes the new normal, search engines will largely become obsolete and no longer useful, instead, they will hold legacy to the cumbersome days of the internet searching, where finding a needle in a haystack really is reality when using Google search the world's supposed best search engine, and while it truly was the best once upon a time, whether or not Google is the best, is questionable at best, their priority for spammy content and low-ranked results, not to mention the flooded pages of ads and artificial intelligence-generated content, Google is becoming the haystack that hides the needle, and no matter how hard you try, no matter how many pages you go through, you still cannot get quality search results, that would show up on the first or second pages of Google, some 20 plus years ago. So is Google really the best search engine? No, but it has all the resources, capital, and money, that nobody else, including Microsoft, has. So those other search engines can only ever dream of becoming as big as Google, even Microsoft's Bing won't ever get to being as half as popular as Google, there's almost certainly no hope for DuckDuckGo and the private search engines, only a handful of people are concerned about user privacy, so what's next? Artificial Intelligence Search Engines I am not kidding and a few already exist. Amazon recently released Perplexity.ai, their own version of ChatGPT, which also aims to be an AI-powered search engine, which can fetch results much more quickly and in a more organized fashion than what a traditional search engine can do. There's also U.com, another AI-powered search engine, that runs off the GPT-4 model. Then, there's Bing, with Copilot, and last but not least, ChatGPT can also serve as a search engine. So these AI chatbots already pose a threat to search engines, but so far, they have not put a single dent into Google's market share, but the AI gimmick seems to be swaying some users over to Microsoft Bing, or other search engines which heavily promote AI. So, which search engine is my favorite, and which one do I use? To be honest with you all, I use many search engines, sometimes I will even use a crawler like Metagare, but for the most part, I use a traditional search engine, mainly DuckDuckGo, Swiss Cows, or Ecosia, and if they cannot find what I am looking for, then I will usually resort to Google or Bing, the latter generally being my preferred option as it couples AI into its search, allowing for me to have quick summaries of topics I'm looking at, or asking it something that Bing was unable to find, I also find the deep search that Bing has to offer very convincing, but I have not really used it much, so I don't know how advanced it is, but it uses GPT-4 powered results to find what you want, and that is something Google has yet to have brought back with Google search. An advanced search feature, was there for many years, but once day, it vanished out of nowhere, never to be seen again, and now, the competitors are doing what Google did 20 years ago, setting themselves apart from the competition, only time will really tell whether or not another search engine ever gains significant momentum, most users do not like Microsoft Bing, but for several reasons, and understandably so. First of all, Bing is shoved down the throats of Windows users, or users who use Microsoft Edge. Microsoft makes it impossible to change the default search engine and web browser on Windows devices, so this angers and infuriates a lot of users who wish to not use Bing or Microsoft Edge. Secondly, Bing does not have as good ability to predict what people are likely to look for, due to the smaller data set it runs off, which in turn, means slightly less relevant results. Lastly, Bing is not private, and it also collects, stores, and sells user data like it's going out of fashion, so this may be alarming to privacy-conscious users. While Bing has a lot of hate, it certainly has something to offer, as does DuckDuckGo, Kaji, etc., and if I had to say which search engines are the best alternative to Google, at least in my opinion, those would have to be DuckDuckGo, Kaji, and Ecosia, and I will add in StartPage and Metagare as some bonus search engines on this list. Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.